All right. So set the scene. It's uh, I guess it's we're at the we're at the the venue, but it's before all the talks and everything. So people are just like milling around. Right. So, You're pretty much there as as other things are going on, but it's not time for him yet. So so we're all like, backstage, and then okay. Golden Boy and Golden Boy. Do you have your two guys with you? Yeah. They're, no, they're standing by him. Okay. So Golden Boy is out on the floor, the main floor by himself doing the recon. Every time he records something or sees something with his cyber eye, he's sending those relays back to us. Um, Nan, can you make sure that with our comms, that there is nobody uh, listening, eavesdropping on our comms or any of our transmissions? Because there's all these tech guys in the room. Like, I don't want to find out that somebody is... What? I don't want to find out that somebody's like listening in, writing our signal, writing our signal, or even worse, the stuff that we're saying, they're going to use that to get the upper hand. And now we got somebody else that we have to worry about stuffing this guy out while we're trying to zone in on the other ones. So just see if there's anybody fucking piggybacking our signal. Okay. Uh, do I use a, I don't use interface. Do I, is that just just a different stat line? Basic yeah. tech or cyber tech? Uh, basic tech. 28? <clears throat> Whichever one is higher. 28. Be the same. <clears throat> You're, uh, you, you obviously are in full control of the system that runs our stuff, so you would instantly know if somebody was uh, pinging into here or, or trying to piggyback on, and everything is clear. Can I use one of my uh, net runner special abilities? I would like to use virus in case somebody would try to interface or try to come through that they'd have their my own custom virus already okay. embedded. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so if anybody does try to connect then they'll they'll yeah. get a dose of that added their way. You actually did that in season one. He actually did that earlier tonight when uh when the guy gave you the upgrade you sent something to him that's that's doing yeah. the same thing. So. Yeah you sure did. Yeah. <clears throat> it's my AI. It's your AI. It's doing his job. Not the AI that we picked up. No, I have my own AI. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I see that. Spiking him out. Okay, so he's uh, he's got he that secured and protected. Whatever it is. And, okay. uh, and what's, what are you guys up to? So I, I just still, I me personally, I still want to know who are the top players in the room, all right? Because, you know, can't everybody be Elon Musk, right? So there's right, somebody sure. in here. I'm thinking Rihanna is Elon Musk and everybody else is... The next guy. Who's the next guys or the next couple of guys? So we already. I mean, well, the, the I VIP guys are. They have a special section down in the front, so you probably would want to start your search right there in that box. That's a good. So like, like 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 ten, uh, you know, ten guys in in the fanciest, most expensive suits sitting there in the front row are probably uh, the most likely people to be his successor if he were to be taken out of the scene. All right, I'll go to the VIP area. I'm standing with the subject. I'm, I'm sticking by him. Right. Right on. Okay. And then just for the, the, the Dominion guys are there. You have a so they got two there. Dominion guys, the wall, and two of uh, of JB's associates there. So that's five right. people protecting him. Yeah. So K-N's doing his. He only needs one. Yeah. <laughs> K-N's off to the side doing yeah, his Yeah, but game. he looks like Kimura, so you could change your mind in the middle of battle, you know. Yeah. And it I depends, have my, depends uh, on how much rage the wall builds up to, on the situation. I'm also, and I have my shield on, my shield generator. O four is going to be also walking around the convention center, but not like a like, just milling about. You know, I made my armor look, look like this pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this flash. So you may, so you're thinking about making a time machine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you're, not a you're gonna use a DMC there's plenty of Delorean. Public people walking around, so you're you're good to go. This yeah. it's not 2,500 insiders here, so yeah, you know, no one no one's gonna look at you twice if you're walking around being a, a consumer. Yeah, uh, can I ask um, what has my AI picked up so far? Uh, a bunch of people who are mostly bored with what's going on. Uh, there's a few people who are running some strange scripts here and there, but you don't see anything that looks too dangerous. Malicious. No, no one's trying to connect to you, at least. Okay. Um, hey, man. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, 
you got our defenses up, but can you check and see if any bodies, if anybody has any systems that are being compromised by other people in the room? Uh, no, it's too deep. Seriously. Go uh, for it. No, it's, it's too deep. I can't try to get into somebody's mind and try to get into the next man's mind through them. That's... All right. See, I don't. I don't think yeah, I well, can. Uh, let me ask the it. GM. No, if you can't do it, you can't <laughs> right. do it. Because that seems numbers. like I would take a major negative. I mean, the number could be hit. It could be. But if he, and if he says, you know, what did the VIP say? Well, he already detected that there were intercept scripts running in the room. So if somebody's trying to snag something from somebody. It's just not you. It's just not coming to us. Yeah. Okay. But what did the VIP say? Talking about. Uh, they're talking about a whole bunch of rich guy stuff, where they're going to go eat dinner tonight, uh, what they're going to go see in Falcon City. And a couple of them uh, towards the end are talking about what an asshole this guy is who's about to get up and give the speech. That, those are the guys we need to mark. Yeah. Well, we already marked them. Or he's just an asshole. It could be that, too. But we're kind of 50-50 on that one. Something tells me that one of our security guys that's supposed to be holding this guy down, I think he's going to kill him. Try to. Not I'm beyond, the, beyond the wall. I, I feel like a guy, <laughs> I, got a bug, I got a bug in my ear telling me that it's one of our guys. Well, I need you standing right next to him like the I'm president. I'm standing right next to him. Like the president. I, mean, I don't think it's going to be specs or skills. It could yeah. be specs or skills. You know, I don't even specs know who specs, specs or skills is. Well, skills is not even here. Skills yeah. is in Detroit. <laughs> Who's specs? Hey, did you, hey matter of fact, did skills ever get that information I was looking for? Let me just delete skills because uh, I don't need skills. Well, he's still, skills. He, he still sends you. He me. sends you the basic. You know, it's it's more in depth than the internet's information, but uh, you know, it basically shows you where this guy came from. The, the clone. He came out of the clone system system and was deposited into a college and breezed through there in like six months. So okay. he's got he's yeah. got the hyper genius thing going. And, uh, uh, okay. He went right out of there into working for this this uh, the conglomerate motors company as a as a design guy. And, so he, uh, and he three really years is he Elon worked his Musk way up. Then, right? You know, yes. <laughs> you know what? Well, except he actually came up with his shit himself. He didn't just buy it from someone else. Ooh, Frank throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how he got it, right? He yeah, yeah. It so, I guess so. <laughs> Something tells me Salvation's had enough. He's had enough of being called skills. And he's done. <laughs> he, this is the ultimate respect thing. I got a bug in my ear telling me. All right, well, you keep that bug there. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. Stay close. I'm staying close to him. I'm standing right next to him. All right. Uh, we're, everybody's in the room. Everyone is in position. How long before uh, uh, he's just got his... Just a few more minutes, pretty much, before he's got to go up and do the thing. What's his intro music? Oh, it's Johnson. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, I said, something by the cars. I don't know. It seems like that would be his thing. But, uh, who knows, man? You guys can you guys can make that call. It'll be some sort of uh, some. It'll be some music by some fictional band that we have the rights to mention on this show. <laughs> Blue Day. Who's that coming out the sky? R E Y Mysterio. Here we go. I don't know why I was default to. His, uh, his walk-on music is I Love Me Some Me by Bone Capone. It's good stuff. <laughs> that's the kind of guy he is. Oh, I course, like, no, love man, that's my walk-on music. Me. Believe it! <laughs> All right. All right, so he's getting ready to do his thing. He's, you know, fixing the suit and doing the, the makeup thing with the... There's a, a makeup person kind of, you know, patting his face and, and making him look presentable and stuff. And, and where's everybody at while all this is... Uh, Last few minutes. I'm, I'm gonna. Sure. I'm gonna you're, move. You're right by him. I'm yeah. gonna move closer to the guy who said the word assassin. And okay. Keep my eye on him. This is good. And Kanan is still monitoring the system. What are you up to, O4? I'm still walking um, the perimeter of the of the convention of the of the. All right. So basically, everybody's got their eyes out in every possible direction. Okay. Yeah. But you'll never see this guy. Where's the Dominion guys? Are they standing next to me as well? Yeah, they're, they're pretty much, you guys are surrounding him in a, a half circle kind of thing while he's uh, <laughs> sitting in the, the makeup chair. And are we gonna, when we go out on stage and he's given his keynote address, how close can we be to him? 
like uh, Whitney Houston you, in the bodyguard. You, you can be here. as close as you want, really. No one, if you want to, you know, you're all wearing suits, so you look like you're part of the show. If you want to go okay. up there and, and be execs, that's cool. But so uh, that's my plan: is to stay next to him. The wall, is but damn near eight feet tall. Seven feet tall. So. Um, and, we, and we even made sure the suits could fit this big motherfucker right here. Yeah. All right. Hey, and 20, the wall $20 million dollars buys you a lot Super famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Super famous. But I have a mask on. But look how big. On. Okay, you put a mask on the Undertaker, <laughs> we still know it's the Undertaker. That's like when the Hulk wears a suit and, and you're not and supposed to know it's the Hulk. Yeah. yeah. Joe fix it over here with a trench coat and a oh. fedora. <laughs> you still a Hulk. <laughs> I'm not going to be standing right next to him. I'm going to be because uh, Dominion will be straddling him, and I'll be next to. You're sort of, you're sort of a few feet back in the shadows a little bit. So yeah. Exactly, exactly. Your arms rock. But all these tech guys, they don't know who the wall is. Yeah, they do. They they all watch TV, man. And plus, with uh, with the other guys in front, and everybody's dressed for the occasion, so it just looks like whenever you see somebody get up there, and they got the two dudes on the side with the sunglasses and the thing in yeah. their ear, you yeah. know. And nobody's going to be too concerned about that. So he, he's getting ready to go up there. The uh, the makeup person, who no one has paid any attention to, and we're very glad was not the assassin, finishes putting the makeup on. Thank and, God. And well, everybody that's with, everybody that's coming near him, we we vetted. Okay. <laughs> this just goes without saying. If the wall is standing there, the makeup yeah. poisons. <laughs> oh, and they gave me the Joker. <laughs> Yeah, adding the uh, the foundation to the lipstick causes a chemical reaction. Yeah, not just the lipstick or the foundation. They have to do the thing. No, dude, it wasn't just the beer or the chips. They had to eat both. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we already killed right. that guy. I killed him last year. Technically last year. It's only been a couple months, but still. All right, so he's he's not been killed by anyone yet, and you've successfully gotten his ass onto the stage. They're introducing him. And he's gonna go out there with the main guys on his side. And, uh, where are your guys at now, JB? You're, you're, you're I'm doing... standing right as close as I can to the guy who said assassin. You're there, but where's your two teammates? Oh, uh, the two teammates should be up on stage with. Uh... Okay, so there, so they, there's four guys there with them, pretty much. And yeah. The wall behind them, supporting everyone at once. Yes. All right, and you're watching the guy who was talking about assassins, and you're in the computers, and you got you're up there walking around. And as he gets on stage, everyone's, you know, your on-screen display that you're normally looking at and your comm system, all of this scrambly and shitty. It's not working. Okay. That's not so good. At, at that point, whatever just did that, k virus is going to start infecting them, and the count starts now. Oh, and they are not going to like what this happened to them. Okay, cool. So what are you guys doing in the meantime? Now, you just saw the comms. I still have comms? You have nothing. Calm down now. Oh, so are for my, all of us or just him? From all of you. So somebody oh, basically for the, for the entire building, everyone's down. I wave my hands like this, <laughs> <laughs> and then I look around. <laughs> We're doing this. Hey, hey, hey! Because you know when comms are messed up, it's in your ear. You can hear the noise. <laughs> so you're immediately looking around. My only high thought guard. is this kid had one. Fucking job. That's not mine. That's not mine. <laughs> I say keep an eye out. So I'm, my eyes are hey, hey. <laughs> all right, all right. So they they killed Calm. Yeah. So that's the yeah, first nobody's day. nobody's in your system. They just scrambled everything in the building at once with something. Oh, everything in the building. Yes. So everybody's looking around, doing the whole hey, whoever we were just in contact. Yeah, anybody with. who was there, press and stuff. All their shit isn't working too. So everybody's confused as to what just happened. Well, it can't be an EMP. So now he can't give the speech. So he's like tap, tapping the microphone and nothing, you know, no one-two is going to happen. And there's no speakers. There's no microphone. There are still lights, though. We're not in the dark. Right. RDF? What is that? What is it? The jamming thing. What is that called? It could be any type of signal. What are you referring to? What jams like cell phone calls? They like, call like, it oh, the ACM, electronic countermeasures. Right. But okay. uh, all you have to do is, is transmit 10% more power, broadband noise, and you'll kill any transmitter. That's to fix the problem? No, no, that causes the problem. How do we fix the problem? You destroy the, the <laughs> ECM <laughs> device. All right. I guess I'm going to go outside and look for an ECM device. Looks like you can pick up a 
cell phone signal jammer at Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, with jammers, you have to be real. Cl- it's got to be close. What so they are illegal? No, no seriously, this yeah. is important. I think. Okay. Uh, for jammers, you got to be close. It only jams in immediate areas, so it's got to be around here in the building somewhere. That's why I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it too. I need you to know. I need I'm you watching to say, the guy. Oh, but I can't tell you because I don't have calls. I'm watching the guy be sassy, but I'm looking around to see if I can see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Do I do see. perception? Who's uh? Yeah, exactly. Do that. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna do perception too. Uh, can I perceive anyone doing something specific, no, like they got mind. their no, head down or like they look sick? Twenty perception. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Then you can do that. All right, cool. Oh, you got 20. 20. That's pretty good. Right, so what is it? 16. I rolled a 19. We, all right. And what did you get, uh, 04? Hold on, I'm going to do mine right now. 22. Yikes. All right, and what was the roll on that can? 16. All right, so everyone here <laughs> but I'm looking for something specific. Done something. So, uh, Everyone who's watching him sees, you know, because you're watching closely and you've got sort of your peripheral vision, you can see that from up in the rafters, you do see you know, the gun barrel starting to aim down on him from up above. Who, who sees that? All of you see that. Everybody who's oh, in, the, in, in the proximity fire. of, if you can see the guy, you can see the gun at the moment. All right, I'm going to um, open fire then, so I guess it's initiative. All right. They're going to shoot? A guy's pointing a gun barrel at, 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 at the dude. What's your shot? Huh? What's your shot? I'm going to... Uh, hopefully he's good enough. Hold on, stop. Because it's like stop, he's stop, an exec. Stop, 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 stop. Take him too early. <laughs> you know that that's definitely not the guy, though. I'm standing in front. I'm covering the, the guy. Covering Ramika. You're, you're blocking him off, all right. Yeah, I'm... I'm, yeah. I'm going to try to shoot the guy with the sniper rifle. The you know sniper. What you can do is you can fastball piff. Into the rafters. She's not. <laughs> and and what, not what you saw when you were looking around the room with the, the specific uh, taking the look is uh, you notice that while everybody else has you know nothing working, there's one guy sitting there tapping away on his stuff, and it seems like his stuff is working just fine. I'm going straight for him. Uh, just a nice charge. I'm not going to say charge. I'm just going to run as fast as I can and try to grasp and attack, just subdue. Okay, so yeah, that, that's going to happen in a flash because you have the speed. So you you flash right over there and just grab him in, in a grab grab hold and basically throw him to the ground pretty much? I'm an eight and well, We're going to see if you do that. That's a, that's a brawling, Wait, Is right? that a brawling or is that yeah. an athletics brawling? That's brawling. Oh. 18? Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay, so at the same it's time. Nerd, get him. Hold on. <laughs> nerd fight over here. And at the same time. You're taking I'm, a shot? I'm shooting the sniper. All right, roll that. Okay. Yeah, you don't you don't have a great shot, but you have uh, you know you have uh, decent enough that you should be able to get something. Nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Uh, let's see here. Just oh, not that great. Oh, oh, then. Oh. Where is he? Where is it? There it is. Nineteen hits. Oh no. That is the oh. weakest evasion I've seen all day. So okay, oh. so you caught him in the leg with your shot as he uh, as he pulls the gun barrel back and sort of takes off down the he's on the, you know, one of those catwalk things. So he's disappearing towards the left, Does away from have... away from where you just shot at. I'm gonna signal Sam damage. and Max to catch that guy. Just signal to him. All right, so they're gonna go after him because the walls see. got him. Let Sam and Max go after the shoot. sniper. Oh, our mission just to get him on stage. Gee, where's the other guy? Well, he had to do his thing. Gee, 13. Well, we That's just it. had to get him on stage, though. No, right? he had to <laughs> present his thing. Yeah, you're officially then. paid now. Oh, man. Okay, oh, they, yeah. <clears throat> they do. They, they see him running, and they manage to get over to where he's going to be like before he gets there and, and you know, block his exit so he can't go down the thing he was trying to escape. Now he's hauling ass back the other way, back towards you. I'm taking a shot at him. Fair enough. Go ahead. 22. All right, 22. Uh, Roll your damage. All right. 10. Okay. Armor piercing. Okay. At this point, 
I'm yelling across the the entire breadth of the uh, whatever the conference, the convention hall, mm-hmm. and I'm going wall smash. <laughs> I don't know if I can hear you. Everybody, he's, I know there's shot a gun. I know it's Everybody's bedlam. screaming I'm, right now. It's bedlam. I'm trying to get your attention. You're doing a good job. You're protecting the guy. But like Nan just said, which I didn't hear, but I had a feeling he just said, uh, we've already been paid. We've done our job. (laughs) (laughs) Our job here is done. Exactly that. Just let me know when my action rolls around again. I'm going to do something different. Yeah, you. We can go back to you. Everybody's kind of... I'm going to go after the guy who said assassin and grab him. Well, not grab him, just, just... Stop. If he's trying to run away or anything, I'm going to go over to him. And, and he's, he's still sitting there in his chair like he's watching the show, but the show is not going on. So, yeah, he's he's not doing much, but you've got him. He's not going to move. Oh, yeah, okay, I, okay, okay. I said, who's the assassin, motherfucker? Oh, I don't know who he is. <laughs> Did you hire him? No, I didn't hire him either. I, you know how much money that costs? I don't have that kind of money, but I know it's supposed to go down, and I'm assuming that's what's going down right now. So uh, maybe we should not be standing right here? Fuck you. Maybe I should shoot you and take cover. <laughs> that's also an option. Yes. His logic was pretty sound. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a, no, I don't know if this guy, this guy just said assassin. I don't know if he hired him. Yeah. I'm going to say, I, I'm just going to... Uh, Take cover behind him. <laughs> okay. Human hold shield. Human shield. All okay, right. Out of curiosity, when Kanan tackled the guy, do we get our comms back? No. It's a ta- it's He's got it on his tablet. I gotta, I gotta unlock everything. What is your password? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it all zeros? <laughs> yeah, that might not be the guy who locked see. everything, but that's the guy who's still working at least. So yeah, it's, uh, there seems to be more than one person here doing this. Yeah. Sam and Max should be. You've already got two, two that you're covered, and a third one that you're watching. So now you've got three people in on this. Yeah. <clears throat> so what? What is uh, Dominion doing with uh, with the subject? Don't tell. Me. I want they're, Dominion they're, to take. They're, they're the... still like locked to his side, trying to. You know, and he's got the shield out. up in front of him, so they're uh, keeping him down and low and out of sight. Yeah, and get him out. We need, start, out. We need to start moving him backstage. Evac. Yeah. As so soon as. Golden direction. Boys started shooting. They should have got his ass off the stage. Well, it well, hasn't been our turn yet. We're talking about milliseconds of time. So, yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing now? If, if it's our turn, then we're going to start moving him. Uh, I'm kind of shielding him. I'm covering him. But we're going to move, make our way backstage. All right. And, um, uh, and there's nobody in your way back here. There are, there's people that are, are working on this stuff or trying to get it back working. But they're not going to block your path at all. They're just on so, the sides. So we're gonna make our way to the uh, back to the makeup room. All right. So you got the sort of semi-secure dressing room area. It's yeah. A much yeah. smaller space to defend. Yes. Okay. Yes. With my with my perception, I want to look around while this is all happening. Since I'm like at the back of the room, I want to look. I want to notice. Is anyone? Because of course, those are shooting, right? People are running for the exits and doing all their thing, right? But who? I want to look to see if anybody focused on the guys on stage still. Uh, you do see somebody when they're, they're leading him off. So you see that there's someone trying to see where they're taking him off to. There's actually two okay. guys, two guys that you can see on separate sides of the room or both watching very closely. They're on separate sides of the room. Yep. What What's the distance between uh, them? Here, and... It's pretty good distance. They're about a hundred feet, 150 feet. And between myself and both of them? Like you'd, you'd be like 75 feet from each of them. Okay. I'm going to go after the one on the left and shoot the one on the right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're, you're running towards the one. So you're going to immediately engage the feature you just received. Yeah. And lock Completely on unprovoked. I only have a feeling, and my feeling says... Charge the one on the left, but shoot the one on the right. Because I'm right-handed. It's easier to make that shot. You can't do this. You can't do this. That's crazy. Don't throw the ball across your body. And I got that new tech, so I can pretty much run to the left, shoot to the right, and get that aim shot off. 
Yep. All right, go ahead and roll that. Funky. I'm gonna use my Arasaka, and I'm a I'm a pump three bullets armor piercing. I forgot to say that the action that I was taking on my turn that just passed, I was igniting the gun blade. The first oh, shot I guess is you. a 21. <laughs> the second shot is a 20. And the third shot is also a 20. Oh, not bad. All right, uh, three damages. Damage number one is 21 critical injury inflicted. <laughs> Number two is a 12. Number three is a 13, and I have to reload. I'm out. All right, let's see here. Uh, that wiped him out pretty good, but he's not dead. But uh, okay, so the, the, the critical injury, you, you shot him in the, in the head and he took out his eye. So no more, uh, no more perception checks for him. Uh, really you know, hope that was a bad guy. What's that? I really hope that was a bad guy. Yeah, and the other the other shot, you took out a, a good bunch of chunks, you know. So you, you know, the head and the chest area, you, you he's he's bleeding out on the ground with just a few HP left at this point. Now, uh, since since yeah, that you're one running, you're running towards the other one now while that one's dead, and uh, and now who's next? It'll be you, JB. No, I just wanted to ask since that guy shot in the leg, he's, he, did Sam and Max overtake him because they're, they're running after him? Uh, they they blocked off where he was at, and he's coming towards you. So yeah, they're coming up behind him now, closing. You know, got him in the no, squeeze play. Okay. Uh, and I see what I see the person Kurtz running towards. Uh huh. I'll take one shot of him. All right. Uh, thirteen. Uh, that's lousy. Thirteen. Thirteen from where he's at is actually a miss. So he's kind of yeah. You know, not not in the uh, <clears throat> not in the direct line of shot. Okay, uh, Kanan, what you up to? I am definitely uh, trying, still trying to subdue this guy because I'm assuming he's squirming. He, he's trying to get free, but he's kind of uh, he's not the most muscular dude, so you're not having too much trouble holding him down. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna oh, just definitely. just shoot his pull ass my gun out, the hold him hostage because we need one guy to talk to. And I'm going to make grasp at the tablet to try to free up any type of signal. Hopefully, it's a signal blocker, and I'm going to try to free it up. Hit the e-stop button. But, uh, yeah, let's, right. let's roll, roll something relating to luck, but uh, you know, it's not luck. So roll perception and maybe use a luck point to see what you get. I'll use my perception with a luck point one. 18. 18 very good okay so you you see that you can see it comes, becomes clear that that's uh this is the button that's gonna the, release the thing and boom you, you tap it and whoosh, all this stuff it comes back weak at first but it's gonna it's gonna build back up to full you know in a few minutes so you've got basic communications back up do i got my uh ai back up and running or still no yeah yeah you're up all right good yeah, what, what you don't have is like external net connections, you, but everybody, yeah. it, our stuff is all up and running. All right. I accidentally, specifically, only got ours open, so <laughs> that's all I care about. I all guess right. all of it here, random chatter in my ear now. Stop yelling. We can oh, hear crap. you now. Listen, you're holding one down. You shout one in the leg, and you're chasing another one. And the one that's coming in the middle with the, the gunshot wound in the leg is, is going to be there between uh, between uh, JB and his associates any moment now. So when it's his turn, they'll be right on each other. Uh, it's 04. I think it's wall strength. Did you do something? Okay, well, the, then we're back to the wall. I thought it was 04, then the wall, but I'll go to the wall. Was it me first? Oh, okay, my bad. Okay, so I'm making that, that dash towards the other person I saw on the left side of the room. Okay. And ah. I am going to... Um, and he, he sees you coming and is trying to dash the other way as well. So now you're in okay. a chase. I'm going to chase... Okay, I'm going to chase him down. And I'm going to try to hit him with a, uh, a bone-breaking uh, strike. All right. As, as he's running, I'm going to just... Jump up in the air, the, like the flying attack. Okay, jumping, flying sidekick to his knee. I don't, I'm not very good at this, so we'll see what happens. 
All right, get see what you get. Fifteen. Fifteen is enough to catch him, and uh, you do throw the flying kick, but you don't really like uh, do a massive connection. But you do kick him pretty much in the you know, above the ass, so you you, you you shove him forward, and he's stumbling forward and falls down. Do I do damage or no? Uh, it does damage, but not something that you're going to have to roll. So he's just been uh, ass wounded by a foot, so like four points or something. I guess you can roll in case it's a critical injury. You might have broken his spine. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's a, to the damn sixteen <laughs> critical injury. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Got him. Hey, man, don't we try to sleep on O four? Man, I can do some shit. <laughs> <laughs> broken lim- broken out limb. With a limp. It's a broken limb, so I would assume you just took out his his hip and his leg. So he's dropped down for you know he's not going to be walking anywhere at this point. Oh my leg! You know that kind of deal. All right. Well. All right. So at this point, we're inside the dressing room. Yes. Doors closed. It's me, the subject, and two Dominion guys. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put my. Uh, my comm back in because I had taken it out when the static hit because it was bothering me. So I'm putting my comm back in and see if there's comms to back up. And um, I want to tell Piff to bring the van around to um, extraction point B. All right. And since that's will, the one that's closest to the uh, <coughs> to the dressing room. She will, of course, get right on that because she's just waiting for your call anyway. So, yeah, that's, that's been set in motion. Okay. So we're just in the dressing room until she says that she's there. And then we'll start moving him out. All right. <clears throat> so is yeah, Sam, is Sam and Max still on the first shooter. They're they're yeah. right behind him, and uh, they're chasing him up towards Golden Boy. So actually, if we want to, uh, who's that's uh, as his turn. So what what you're seeing is that they're you're standing there, the guys coming towards you. Your two guys are behind him, and uh, they're not shooting at him because you're on the other side at the moment. Yeah, but I got a body shield. Oh, so you tell <laughs> you tell them go ahead and shoot. Yeah. And so they do. <laughs> Kabang. Oh, that was a good one. And hey, where's the other guy? I was chasing a guy and he was trying to leave, and I did a jump flying sidekick to his head, busting his hip. Not as good. Okay, so the, the, they, both, oh, they both shoot at him, and, uh, and they both hit, but only the one guy manages to do I some damage. I just did the guy. And, uh, so he, he hits him in his leg, so now he's got two wounded legs. He drops, he drops down to his knees on the, on the ground in front of you, basically. Okay. I just tell Sam, I tell Sam to cover him and tell Max, keep your eyes out for any more hostiles. All right. So he's, uh, they've got him covered now, so you've got that one down. And then I want to shoot the executive in the knee and say, you better start talking because you got another knee. Uh, I, I told you everything I know. I, you know they, they're trying to kill him. I don't know who it is, though. I just know we're going to all have a bunch of extra money once it's done. Why would you say assassin? Tell me the whole conversation. The, uh, the, the, the executives have gotten together and decided to take this idiot out because we're tired of him ruining all of our, our business. So They're the I'm ones in sure the VIPs. Who, all of the VIPs. All right. So all ten of the guys? I'm going to start heading over to the VIP section. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he's going to... You, you got that... He's not going to go anywhere now with, with a hole in his leg. So, uh... There's so a guy standing in front of you that says, you're not on the list. And the guys are all, tr- are all trying to kind of scatter and get out of there at this point. Now there's guns going off and there's people running and there's nothing happening on stage. <clears throat> so there's there's a bit of a panic going on as you're chasing them down. Um, okay. And now we're, what are we at? Uh, the wall, right? Or no, it's KKB, it's Canaan. Yes. Uh, I'm just... Gonna try to scare the guy, slap him around, try to get some answers. Okay, he's telling you the yeah, same thing he's, that, yeah. that you just uh, heard, overheard over the thing from the other guy. I'll, I'll repeat what he said to everybody in the comms. So the comms. comms. We have, VIPs. We hey, Golden Boy, we know. So the comms. I know this is your first mission, but it's not ours. <laughs> but I'm gonna say, <laughs> what? Get, what are you? You work for who? Uh, you're really bad at faking that. Yeah, I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you should watch more Bob Newhart to get that that skill built up. <clears throat> all right, so you're you're all 
And, you know, you figure out at the, this point that all of the VIPs. Oh, oh hey, Frank. Yeah. Sorry. I record him spilling all that out. Oh, yeah. My recorder's working again. You're, uh, we're pretty much, you're recording everything all the time yeah. at this point. Okay. So, <laughs> Robocop style. Always have it. Yeah. Always have oh, the evidence. Okay. okay, so he's recording evidence and, uh, <laughs> and sort of getting, getting dirt on the VIPs. <laughs> you now know they've all hired the assassin. You've caught these other guys. What you've taken down three people. You, you're holding one, and there's two that you've shot. And uh, but still, none of these people seems to be the assassin you seek. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Who's turn is it? Ah, it's so, mine. Uh, it's, it's yeah. It's, it's mine. Oh, oh four. A wall. Yeah, we got a twenty on the makeup person. No. Because he's not in the room. I got a funny, I got, I got a sneaking suspicion the makeup person is the actual assassin. Because why not? Why wouldn't she be? Because <laughs> she had her chance that she didn't kill him. Or, or did she? <laughs> okay, well. What does he look start, like right start now? Start taking that foundation <laughs> off. <laughs> Just be easy. Check. I take the guy and I put his head in, into the water and start see splashing it, water on his face. See if it starts to fizz. <laughs> if the no. water starts to fizzle up. He's a, he was already sitting in the chair taking the makeup off and stuff anyway. So yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's coming off. It doesn't seem like there was anything messed with there uh, at all. But, uh, but you do notice now that you're up there checking the things out that there's, there's something not quite right with the chair he's sitting in. Oh. I can't do nothing with it. Take, take, take. Well, what is it? What is it, Paul? Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. So, roll perception. Roll perception. Jesus Christ, man. (laughs) We teed you up perfectly. 18. Okay, you see the odd, like, red LED glowing below the chair that really shouldn't be there on the bottom of a chair, and look down, and you see the timer counting down on the detonator. Okay, but so it's, first thing it's I got gotta... a huge amount of time. What you really notice there is that there's a wire running out, you know, to where the seat is. It's basically you know, there's a proximity trigger. If he gets up, it's gonna blow up. Better yeah, get Keenan in there. No, hey, wall, get some nitrogen. Use a little spray cam. Is the chair bolted down? Blow it. Hey, listen. The chair is not bolted down. It is not on wheels, listen. but it's not bolted down. I know exactly how to do this. Where am I gonna get nitrogen from? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, everybody carries a can of liquid nitrogen with okay you. if okay. you don't have liquid nitrogen get one of those little cans this is a tech convention grab a can that you spray out to get the key this isn't lethal weapon I, I'm <laughs> saying martile and then one two three <laughs> you need a bathtub you need a bomb squad right. he is the bathtub <laughs> I, I want to see if uh, grab and twist <laughs> I want to see if there's anything it's, it's the, the, the chair is not bolted down, but is there a, a pressure sensor underneath the chair? How much time Actually, is that? It, does not, uh, any second. it does not look like they thought to do that. So the, the chair itself okay. is wired if you lift him off the boat, but if you lift the chair up, you might be okay. So now I'm going to tell the Dominion guys to pick <laughs> this guy up and start making our way to the exfiltration point B. All right, let's see if we can uh, find some sort of like a, a plank or something to put so in to keep him. Blow up the van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to get out of here, man. Get to a more secure place so that Kanan was... can get in here and, I can and go in there disarm right now. Okay, well, you, you, your luck holes out. You, you're backstage, and, and there's basically one of those big flatbed carts there. So you can you can put the chair on the cart and roll his ass out the door if that's what you're trying to do. The um, guy's like, yes. what the hell are you doing, man? I'm doing, you know, he's, Riri, this is so embarrassing. We need to get out of here. You do not look like a tech giant right now. My dude is definitely like, panicking at the moment. You, know, he's you like, look like the homecoming queen. Yeah, just don't get up. Okay. Yeah, if nothing else, they're making him look like a complete bitch for their money. So it was something well spent. <clears throat> okay. So, so I'm letting them know, hey, we're going to start working our way to the, the extraction point B. All right, and you're heading this basically backstage tunnels towards the door that's and fairly secure the two, anyway. The two Dominion guys are rolling him, and I'm in point. All right, and they're, they're, they're kind of pushing along and, and keeping their eyes out behind them, too, so everybody's yeah. uh, so you're covering all, all the angles in the tunnel. Yes. Arian Foster. All right, it's very for me. All right, so you guys will say that you've gotten to the tunnel, and you've actually gotten to the van, and you're there. You can get him into the van. So while you're putting him in there, what are you guys up to? Right, am I at the VIP section yet? 
Uh, yeah, you were there, and a lot of them have scattered, but there's still a couple guys sitting around. How many? Uh, out of the ten, there's still three sitting. Three sitting? All right. I'm going to go up to one of them, put my pistol right between his eyes, say, and ask them all, who's the assassin? Uh, he's, he's, an, he's an anonymous assassin. We, we all put in the money. We don't know who, he's, who he is. Take him out. It costs said, us one, yeah. one million dollars a piece to put into this. To well, mean, this. Who did you pay? Uh, the, the organization. We, well, who, did, who did they pay at the end of the thing? I don't know. We all put it into a fund, and, uh, and the executive over there, you know, this guy that, that just took off running is the guy who actually made the deal. I want his name. Give me a name, give me a cut. Give me a name, give me a business he works for, everything you know about him right now. All right, so he basically sends you the, he gives you a data dump right away. So here you go, here's his entire contact information, blah, 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 blah. Now, he's got uh, the two guys covered, right? Yes. I see, I call over Sam, say no witnesses, Sam, and I walk away. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so uh, they they, uh, wait, they wait till you're out of sight, and then they just kind of do the thing they're supposed to do here and take care of those guys. <laughs> Dangerous. <clears throat> okay, that's my action. All right, then we're uh, K-Man. What's you up to? Um, I'm still trying to... Can I interrogate the guy, or is that human perception? I don't think I have interrogation. But uh, I can have some jacks in here. I can still try... Oh, interrogation plus six. It's a zero, but I can try Nine. <laughs> he, he's mildly intimidated because his would be even less, but uh, he doesn't really seem to have any more information to give than what you've already got from the others. You know, these guys have all gotten together to, to hire an assassin to take this guy out, and you've stopped most of his men, but have not actually found him himself. All right, I look up, I pull the trigger, because <laughs> I had the gun underneath his chin the whole time. I look I, up, ah! Oh, I asked Max, he's been... Moving through the crowd, looking for anyone else suspicious. Let's Do you see anything see suspicious? Much. He was about to come and tell you about the same guy that you're telling him about, the uh, the guy who you now believe is the person who made the deal and should know who the assassin is and would be okay. the, the chief in charge of this whole operation. What I just killed? Okay. Is it, it's not the one I just killed, right? Because I No, he ran to... out. No, yeah, the, the, one, the one you're looking Ooh. for has escaped. And, uh, Okay, you shot him. Go out and defuse that bomb, man. That's what I'm going to do. Suit up. All right. <laughs> uh, roll your attack. Uh, it was a 20. Oh, you got a 20. Okay. Uh, you uh, you figured out how this bomb is wired up, and you, you've got it temporarily not counting down at least. So it, it's not going to automatically blow up. Now, oh. now it's only going to blow up if he gets out of the chair. Is he in the van now? I ran full speed. Oh, so once he got to the van, I went back into the venue. Oh, okay. great. We're doing shifts. I'm leaving this with him, yes. I'm, oh. I'm, somebody needs to get killed, and <laughs> I'm the man for that job. <laughs> if there's right. an assassin still in the building. So you're running back in the building as they're in the van taking, uh, standing yeah, out to the side. He, yeah, so actually, would, yeah. the, as you're running in, you catch the guy who you're trying to see running out as he finally makes his way to the, the main exit there. In the back. You just bump into him. Hey, watch where you're going. Uh, you going? Down, <laughs> the dude, dude exactly up. runs, runs smack dab into the wall. Poof, you know, they get the fuck out of the way. You know, and then he sees who it is. Yeah. You know, and it is. Well, it's yeah. just, this is another Kimura clone, except this guy's old. Okay. Well, gunblade action time. It's a old Kimura clone. Not old, old, but older. So he's he's not as young as this guy. So he's. I just go radio and say, "Wall, we need to know who he hired." All right, well. But yes, he, he's not like the others for some reason. Okay, well, I'm going to attempt. I'm going to try to grab on, throw him up against the wall and subdue him. Not oh, the wall, but no, no problem with that. Yeah, you, you grab him and slam him up against the wall. And, you know, knock the wind right out of him. He almost killed him. <laughs> 29. <laughs> one more, one more entry. Uh, so I was just right, yeah. so you, 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 you got long. that guy. You're holding him. You're in the van. Yeah. And you're you're secure the, with the guy work. you're trying to save and working on and getting his ass off the uh, the thing all there. Right. What do you? I want to. All right. I want to come up, 
see Wall has this guy, you know, in er- interrogation mode. Uh, Wall, you do have interrogation, right? I do. All right. I I, I just say... But first, I, I'm gonna, you know, I got to throw zip ties on him. Yeah. <laughs> you have zip ties? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't. Have. He has a zip tie dispenser at this point. All right. <laughs> I, I go to Wall. I go to Wall to do uh, some intense, aggressive interrogations on this guy. So, um, the but guy the I thing just, is... Oh, go ahead. The guy that I caught, he's the one that... He's the actual The other VIPs are pointing at, yeah. saying that he set it up. Yes. Yeah. But I don't know that yet. I just... Some well, I'm guy, reading on that, too. Just okay. some guy wanted yeah. to talk about... No, we know. We know that this is it. Okay. But the thing is... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, what looks funny to me is that this is a straight Kimura on Kimura clone attack. Right. We've not seen this before. Correct? Right. So that means the guy that we have, the subject, is the good guy. And this guy's the bad guy. <laughs> okay. That's... There's a good Kimura there's a bad Kimura. How about this? Before you come to that, I want you to do the uh, interrogation. Go to, go to your interrogation thing. All right. So they want me to interrogate the guy to find out what? Everything. Who did he hire? I want to know, yeah. I want to know what he had for... Who does he work for? First one was better. Who yeah. does number uh, two work for? I know. I rolled for, a 17 interrogation. The first one he rolled was a 29 on the interrogation. <laughs> I was just like, Jesus. That was a practice roll. It was a 29. Yeah. I just right. rolled a 17. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, right now, you know, know, he's a bit older and not uh, in the greatest shape. So he's not going to stand up to much from the wall here. So he's like, oh, you know, fuck you. You know, I said, you, you know no, what no, I'm, so you know what I'm doing shit. here. Hey, hey, hurt him. Roll my brawling. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I smack him around a little bit. Yeah. So that's a, uh, a, Susan. a 30. Oh, okay. And the damage oh, man. is 13. 13? No, he, he's like, learning how to pull the punches. He didn't knock his eye out or anything like that. Right. See, sometimes I got to be careful when the brawl <laughs> or when the wall does that. All so right. He's, he's uh, you know, he, being well, the clone of Kamara, he knows who you are, too. And he's like, you know, he's like, I'm not telling you anything, the wall. You know, he's, okay. He's still, listen, that's, that's a problem. He still has too much uh, bravado right now. Shame. Okay. Do the thing. All right. So if you got to start cutting pieces off. Ignite there, the gun blade. <laughs> Put it up to it. Put it up just so he could see it. Just put the blade in front of him so that he could see it. Right. And then uh, interrogate him again uh, with a roll of 16. Damn. If it's okay, 16 plus like, uh, gun blade. Well, perhaps I could be, uh, we could arrange a bit of a conversation. What is it that you're trying to find out? So it's it. Really? Uh, does he know who, does he know who he hired? Does he know the, the actual uh, assassin? I, I do know who I hired. Yes, that's okay. that's what you want to know? Like We need to know who the assassin is. Is his name going to do you any good? The guy's already going to be killed one way or the other. He's, he's already attached to the bomb. I knew. I knew. No, I'm saying that the, the, guy that he, the guy who's trying to be killed is already attached to the bomb over there. What difference does it make if you know who the assassin is or not? So we'll tie you to the bomb as well. No, uh, uh, that, that would not be good. <laughs> well, we can take him to the, back to the van. We Knock can, him out first. We can put, put time Well, out. no, we want him to be in the same with next to the bomb. Yeah. So, so the bomb blows not. up. He blows up with it. Bomb, 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 bomb. bomb. <laughs> That does seem like I'm tired. I hadn't thought of that. Got the bombs. <laughs> All right, you so know? you basically, yeah, that, it's not that far because you were just running back in when you grabbed him. So right, you just so we'll, drag his ass back, him back down the all the way to the van. Yeah, we'll, we'll take him to the van. So wait. Put him inside the back with the I think I got confused in the story. You don't actually have the assassin? No, he has the guy who hired, hired, hired the assassin. assassin. You don't know the assassin. You know the guy who hired Apparently the Apparently the assassin is the one that put the bomb in the makeup chair. So where's the fucking assassin? It's not going to do us any good if we have his name. It's what the guy just said. He's confusing me, man. I'm, I'm not supposed to be doing all this thinking, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I tried to limit to all this thinking. You, <laughs> you want me to head back there and talk to him? You do have, no. the, you do have the exec who hired him. So when this, is, when this is settled at the end, you'll be able to get the, the you know contact details and crap out of his device, if nothing else. But right now, I guess our priority should be defusing the bomb. 
Yeah, the kid this got is what I got this. Hey, matter of fact, give me the ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it right I'm going to defuse it right now. It's All right, well, let's, let's do it. What's the number he has to beat? <laughs> I, don't yeah. like, I don't like telling him because it makes it harder. <laughs> oh, I mean, it just puts a little bit more pressure. I shine the brightest when I have the most pressure on it. Yeah. So, uh, right. How much time does he have on the... You said the, 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 the timer's the time. paused, stopped, so stopped. he's good there. Okay, so it's just a, proxy, just a pressure sensor. Yeah. Okay. I just want to talk to the guy. Can I go and go out over and talk to the guy? Yeah, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me diffuse it. Well, he's diffusing kill. it. I'm going to talk to I the need guy. to go kill somebody. It's 12. Right. I'm, I'm going to use persuasion. It's, this is basic tech. Um, I'm not going to try to intimidate the guy. I'm going to try to say, hey, this is business. Look, we have zero reason to keep you alive right now. So why don't you tell me something that's worth saving you for? Basically, I'll roll persuasion. At 25. All right. So he, he basically rats out the, the rest of the, you know, he's like, well, here, I'll continue all the information you want on this guy and how I contact him and how I get a hold of him and everything else. That, that's all I really know. All right. Now, so he, I, know, I know he's not going to stop until that guy's dead. See, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. The, so we need to go find the assassin. I don't know if I have diffused bomb in here. How do you contact the assassin? He gives you. Well, he's, <laughs> he gives you the contact information. You've got the the you know the the thing to to ping his comm and all that stuff. So you yeah. can get all, you can get a hold of him. Let's see if he answers in the <laughs> in the. <movie. laughs> well, he's in the building somewhere, so we just need to find him. Yeah. So you guys find him. I'll take care of it. Uh, then I'll ask him again. Uh, while they're doing that, I'll just say, hey, did, is this, did the guy come in, plant the bomb and leave, or is he still in the building? Uh, I don't know if he's still in the building, but he's definitely still monitoring the situation because he's, he's making sure that guy is going to be dead. Yeah, he's got, he, <clears throat> he can't leave until the guy's dead. All right. Well, I'm going to pull up his, from the data pad, his picture, all his information, send it to the whole team, send it to Sam and Max. Say, see if you can find this guy. I think it should be easy. At this point, everybody who's not the killer has left the building. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what else can but we do? Anybody we, who's still we, here, we're hiding somewhere. And I'm trying to tell you, anybody who's still here, that's not us, we kill. Is that, is that the order? Yeah, that works. <laughs> is that, is, I gotta know. Is that, is that I, the at, order? At this point, I feel like anybody who came to this show and is just a. a, a it was just watching they're gone once the the shooting started the people that were the execs yeah. that stayed the vips that stayed is because they hired the assassin so they wanted to make sure okay so that riri died that's why they stayed that's why they got shot in the knee so if this, this assassin guy, is as good as you know if he's if he's a good assassin mm -hmm. he watched us take ramika to the van so he's right. somewhere outside watching the van right now. So he or wouldn't be inside the van. In here watching the van. Either way. Sick. Is that uh, is that pretty accurate that he'd be somewhere watching well, he's, the van he's to see not gonna tell you, us. you would think so, probably, yeah. That's <laughs> okay. a good assumption. Can so, I defuse this bomb? <laughs> you like you're, 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 you've been you've been <laughs> working on it and after you, you throw it and you, you get a little bit further in and uh and the next attempt to actually diffuse it, uh, it tr triggers one of its non-tampering features, and now it's adjusted the weight limit on there. So now he, and not only can he not get up, he can't really wiggle too much, or it's going to explode. Well, I also have, I have demolitions that I can roll. It's okay. not high. All right, roll it. Let's see what you get. Gulp. Dump, dump. Blood point. Dump, dump. Uh, no luck. Fifteen. 15. Good. Okay, if 15 is enough to not blow you up. This is good. So you, you've, you've <laughs> right seen on. how the... He got the, his wiggle space back. How the <laughs> bomb, the explosives are connected to the fuse, and you're going to start working on that instead of going the electronic route. So uh, th that's what you're doing now. So he's still trying to defuse, but now it's really delicate because he can't move around. So, you know, you got that, that sweat dripping from your face kind of thing while you try to figure out the wire to cut. Give me the close-up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While he's doing that, let's canvas the building. All right? All right, so you guys are, are going to go First one that finds the assassin gets the bonus. 
All right. Well, the as, bonuses. as soon as what? you open up the, the van to get back up, you know, a, a smoke grenade comes flying through the door. Dang. Wait, who opens the van? Did you just say you got out to do a check or are you in the van? No, no, no. He, you're, you're he's still inside the, the building. Oh, you're still outside. I'm in the van. Gotcha. You're still outside. Okay, never mind then. So, yeah, as you approach, the same thing is going to happen, though. You, you do see that someone is uh, is pretty much ready there to, to take fire on the van. Ooh. Okay. Do I get a good Do I get a good uh, look at him? Uh, you can see the dude pretty well, yeah. He's, he's okay. not, not too right. You're pretty far away, but you're running up. So You know what? I'm going to use the Arasaka. I'm going to take three shots at him. Maybe I might get lucky. Shot number one, 24. Shot number two, 23. Mm. Shot number three, 26. Dang. Okay, damage. <laughs> First one, damage is, and these are the expansive bullets. Which is a 12. Second one is a 13. Last one, 16, critical injury inflicted. All right. <laughs> that was the 26. So I soften up, soften up the armor. Wow, it oh. got through. Yeah, the, uh, the, the critical injury was dismembered to hand, so you managed to shoot him and take his weapon away at the same time there. I'll take a shot, too. I only got one shot. Might as well. Oh, okay. Uh, and insult to injury. Go ahead. I'll probably miss. 31. <laughs> uh, all right. What's the damage there? Let's see. Twenty-one. All wow. right, twenty-one. This guy is pretty well toasted at this point. So he's uh, he's missing a hand, he's missing an ear, and you just put a hole in his chest. So he's, uh, you know, but he's uh, he's dead. Hey, Wall, hurry up! He's almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess I'm gonna knock out the guy that I'm holding still. <laughs> And make my way out of the tunnel towards uh, where the, I hear the gunshots from. All right. So you're run, you're running up on that, and uh, yeah, yeah, you you basically he just mostly killed the uh, the guy who you presume is the assassin who matches the contact information you just received at least. So uh, you, you stopped him there, but the guy is still attached to the bomb. Yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah. That this is a loose end. <laughs> you wrap it up. You know, the sniper and the two guys inside, whoever's left alive, Sam and Max are in there covering them. I just tell them, Sam and Max, no witnesses. Yeah, you're yeah. already told. Yeah, no, good. that was the VIPs. Oh. <laughs> he killed the three VIPs. But now I just tell them, just, just wipe out the whole team. What's the roll? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Come on, man. 15 again. 15 good. <laughs> Fifteen is enough. Yeah, you keep you you you're getting it reset enough to do the thing. So the worst okay. time to tell you that I'm colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> so he's defusing the bomb. The bomb. You got you've got everybody else who's been involved in this pretty much is either dead or captured or broken or all three. Combined. No, no, they're dead. Okay, they're all dead then. There you go. Yes. Max and Sam. Is there shot anybody left? The festival. Uh, the guy, the guy, the guy that he was killing is not dead. He's just laying there, kind of you know, bleeding out. But he's not a threat anymore. Nah, not particularly. I didn't even get to use my gun blade. You don't need it, man. Smacking people around. Well, you did <laughs> threaten all Alright, so I deactivate my gun blade on my turn. And okay. holster my, my weapon. I'll, I'll walk over to the assassin who's bleeding out and just <laughs> pop one between the eyes. Mm. No, he's you not going to convey that so that yeah, he's, he's now officially dead too. Okay. You want to get any information? What, what kills no, it's an assassin. We got all the information. We got all the information. I already got it all. Transmitted to me all the information about the operation. So, I want to talk to Ri... Ri, Ri what's his name? Ri Ri Rivers? Ramika? Ramika. I want to talk to Ramika. Get into the van. Um, the kid did... Wait, before I get in the van. <laughs> yeah. He I, did. Are you done? No. I'm not done. Oh, okay. I don't, <laughs> That's why I'm staying. I'm, I'm still working. working. Hey, you're knocking on the van door. Don't come in! Hey, Piff, why don't you join me outside of the van? <laughs> no, she stays. <laughs> I'm way over where the assassin was. Hey, man, tell me when it's cool. Yeah. All right. 
the Everybody last roll. Everybody's on a smoke break, yeah. Go ahead, one more. Please don't be a one. 17. 17? 17. 17, you defuse the bomb. This oh. is the wire. Oh. <laughs> All right, you the dark gray one, but, but, not wait. the light gray one. Click, click, yeah, you hear the pressure thing reset and it drops, you know, so it, it, the fuse is no longer attached to the bomb and you can safely get his ass out of the chair. Okay. So... And he's like completely, you know, he's like exhausted, dripping in sweat, terrified. He's been, you know, yeah, one out yeah. on this chair, shaken, strapped to a bomb. Okay. But take, he take did stay ready. alive, so his money was you're, well spent. You're alive, and I'm going to say, you didn't lie to us, per se, but you wasn't wholly on, honest with us either. We didn't ask. About what? How, how hated this guy truly was. Well, he was hated enough to hire us. Yeah. To guard him. What, what are we doing? The Silky Johnson of all inventors. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Um, I know it was a steep, a rather steep um, tab that you that you that you uh, that you're paying for our services, but um, I'm thinking it's not enough. Mm. The, the, the software upgrades, I think that's that's a drop in the bucket of what we're going to need. Matter of fact. I mean, you can't change the terms of the deal after the deal. Well, why you not? know how to fix it because you're not fixing it. That's why I can do, well, I'm doing what I'm doing. If Bob was here, he could, he could do it. But and I can say this. Money Man C D was here. So well, I could push your ass back in that chair and start it back up too. <laughs> yeah. How about this? Don't nobody know you alive but us. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. You do what I tell you. Do. I'm, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna walk you. over and talk to the guy. I'm gonna persuade. I'm gonna say, I, I'm sure you're pleased with the job well done. Golden boy. Uh, we we encountered something. some heavy resistance. Perhaps a bonus is in order. I'll persuade. Hold on. Uh, I'm sure. I mean, what, what would you guys? What would you consider? You guys doing a good cup, bad cup right now? <laughs> I'm not asking for anything. I said, all I'm asking for is you get those suits to me at cost as quickly as possible. You? I need hella upgrades on my yacht. <laughs> yacht I upgrades? Yacht. <laughs> that's what he can. No, 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 no. no. Well, I, I'm, 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 that's, you know, you first of all, I, what I'm not going to do is help someone upgrade their yacht, okay? Yeah. What do I look like a turbo? Just no. just sit down and relax. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit, sit in the chair. But I want this guy to do I want my yacht to be like the the, 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 the helicarrier. I want my yacht to come out of the water and be like the zeppelin that we was you on. know this guy. You would trust him to basically your I fortune. I love my armor. I'm going to tell you like this. You're basically this guy. I did not know, know this guy was the creator of this. I love this. This is my favorite thing. he didn't thing. make it for you guys. Huh? He made it. We just happened to steal it. He's he didn't good. make it for you. Now I don't is. trust this guy with nothing. I, I'm Donner. Pull yourself together. Come on. Let's get in the character.